What is up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. So today, if you can see, got me old kayak right here behind me. Gonna be doing a little review on it today. I've had it for about a year now, or a little over a year, and I just got um, just got it registered and just got me a trolling motor on it, and I'm gonna be taking it out uh, here in just a little bit and try her out. But anyway, I'm gonna do a little review and just show y'all a little things about it it's a feel free lower 10 v2 it's a 2021 model but yeah all right i'll show y'all what we working with here yeah. so on the back here got it don't actually come with a beaver tail rudder when you uh buy it new you actually have to buy that separate but on the back here we got the beaver tail rudder and way you control that is right here you have a little thing here and you just pull it you pull it go look back there so you let that down and see you pull it up and it's got a little thing here and it holds it there so that'll keep it up or you can pull it and let it down Let's her down. So yeah, so you actually have to install that yourself when you buy it. It don't come installed and it costs a little more uh, when you buy it new. But yeah, I think it was a little over 200, 200 bucks for it. <clears throat> but anyway, right, right here we got the drain plug. Just drain your water if you get any water in your boat. That just comes out here. There you under. It just screws back in. Then you got on the bottom, you got the wheel on the keel back there. Keep you from scraping up the back end of it. And plus it makes it a lot easier. See, it's got a wheel there. Makes it a lot easier transporting it down to the river or lake, wherever you're fishing. Anyway, you got your little bungees here in the back, you know, just to keep your cargo in or whatever, kind of holds it in. They actually slide back and forth, wherever you want to put them. I actually got a milk crate back here. Um, there's actually some straps, uh, two of them actually, and I'm just using them as of now to hold the crate in. Uh, got one running through uh one right there but yeah then you have you got a rod holder on each side one here one right there and you actually have let's see actually have a, a little uh, thing here you just can wrap around your pole and just clamp it on there So that way you don't lose your rod. And as you can see, I got a little floating device on mine. So that way if it does fall off, it'll be floating there. But anyway, then you got your, uh, your track system. So when you buy this factory, it don't have no rod holder like this with it. I actually bought that separately. That's a, actually an Omega Pro. Uh, rod holder got it for uh, trolling but anyway the only thing about these tracks is you have to buy adapters in order to put anything on them the way feel free design these tracks they're just not they don't they don't line up with actual stuff as other kayaks tracks are you have to actually have adapters and I'll show you that hold on There's what you'll have to get. Feel free track adapters. But yeah. So I have a rod holder on one side and a rod holder on the other side. Uh, I've got that, so maybe I can do some trolling. And get up here. 
I actually got my Minn Kota Endura 30 pound thrust. Um, so, yeah. So it's got the hole through the middle, middle. I actually had to get a pod mount, which is this thing here. What, what this is uh, hooked to or mounted to. It's a pod mount. I got it from Yak Gadget. So had to have it that goes just right down in the hole. I'll show you here. it will it just comes out like so back down through there and it just goes right up under that come right here take this like so man she's in there so pretty excited Hadn't got to try it out on the water yet. That's actually where I'm headed as soon as I get done with this little review. But as if you can see, got a little place for storage or whatever have you you want to put in there. That's where I actually got my battery. And as of now, I'm just gonna run my wire right there. Didn't want to drill no holes in my boat. Uh, just don't want to. Uh, in case I want to sell it or whatever just didn't really want to drill no holes unless I absolutely have to but I can get by with that for now that's this side will shut just can't really twist that side but that's good enough and that wire runs to my battery and all that but anyway and plus on this side you got a place to put your for your paddle got these little things here one there one there and you got this little handle on the front helps you grab that to maneuver it wherever you want like i said you got the got the wheel on the keel back there but like i was saying here so it's got a paddle holder on this side as well as you can see i got got it holding my paddle little things here and uh yeah i don't think i showed you how to control your rudder so all you do, you got little foot pedals here on each side and you'll just push in with your foot to control it. As you can see, it turns it from the foot controls. But yeah, and one of the best things I like about this kayak is the seat. Very comfortable seat love the seat on this thing and i think it's got a uh, 10 adjustments so you'll just pull pull this little red thing here and you can adjust it all the way down to the floor or pull it up and then like 10 adjustments you can pick from and go up midways you can go up another up another or all the way up and it sits pretty high up as you can see there and you got your little pockets on the side here very handy dandy throw you a little box in there with lures whatever you want and yeah and we got we got like a little thing here you just slide whatever you want there maybe a box like that and hold it in there but yeah so that's pretty much it that i know of this kayak it weighs 77 pounds the width of it is 34 inches and the length of it's 10 foot the weight capacity is 375 pounds and it, the material it's made out of is polyethylene i think it's, that's how you say it but yeah anyway that's pretty much everything i think but yeah 
And plus this right here, this right here is what used to be in the hole uh, where the um, trolling motor is. So, and it's just like a little compartment type deal. Whatever have you, but I won't be using it because I got the trolling motor, but it comes back to with that. But, yep. And I have, and I have, uh, I got me a little waterproof compartment just to keep, keep my phone in, wallet, whatever I want. Just keep it dry. It's hooked on there good. That way you got that right there and it won't get wet or lose it. But, yeah. And plus, got another feature that's real neat about this kayak. So you can actually take the seat out. So you have these little thing here. You just loosen it up. Slide that over. Got that, it slides right over. You got another one on the other side. We'll go ahead and loosen it. Slide that over. Then you have buckle right there with a strap on one side then you'll have one on this side undo it then you can just pull your seat out it comes right out set it right there on the ground however you want it you got your seat there. You can have it by the old campfire. Chill by the campfire in the old luxury. Feel free seat. Roast you a marshmallow. Drink you a soda pop. Whatever have you. But yeah, another cool feature about it. Y'all stay tuned. So, gonna be taking her to the river now. I'm excited. Hadn't had it out on the river in a good while now and hadn't ever had it out on the river with this trolling motor. So pretty excited about that. So yeah, I'll see y'all in the water. It looks like you're turned on a dime. There he goes off into the sunset. Hopefully he doesn't fall off. <laughs> you get it, son. Lock it, don't you? Yeah. Right. I know. And just to show you how stable this thing is, so I'm standing up. I can rock it back and forth. You can fish standing up in it. Uh, yeah, it's very stable. y'all so the phone um, the sap on my phone so i got this thing in full throttle on the fifth speed and it's showing that it's reading three miles per hour hi right, y'all appreciate y'all for watching just did this video to kind of give y'all an idea if you're getting into wanting to buy a kayak to see what you're getting into and uh maybe help you out whatever and just kind of let y'all see what i'm using but i was really impressed with the uh trolling motor and and uh how well the kayak tracked and everything and yeah 
so now i just want to get out here a little bit longer and see how good this battery is going to do but anyway appreciate y'all for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe and i'll see y'all on the next one y'all have a good one